Now, some sequences, most sequences of that will diverge, as in they won't converge towards any particular number. Okay. An example of a sequence which diverges is this one here. Um, it's the Fibonacci sequence. 1 plus 1 makes 2, 1 plus 2 makes 3, 2 plus 3 makes 5, and so on and so on and so on, all the way down. Okay? All the way down. Um, that sequence looks like that. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger as it goes. Okay? So it, it, it uh, diverges. A sequence which converges, actually, we can get a sequence which converges right out of this one. Because if we were to do the ratio of one term divided by the previous one, can you see there? 1, 2, 1 1.5, 1.6, 1.6, 1.62, 1.61, 1.61, 1.618, 1.618, 1.618, 1.618. So we've actually converged. Okay, so we've got a converging sequence as a graph that looks like that. Okay, so we went a bit around it, a bit around it, but eventually we settled out. Actually, fairly quickly as well. That's that number that's known as the golden ratio. Okay, um, nature uses it. You look at it, arts, you see it on all sorts of things. Angelina Jolie's face, apparently, is all the pr that's why apparently she's pretty good at doing like ratios. A sequence which diverges is essentially any sequence which doesn't converge or neither oscillates or is periodic. So, one of the ones that we saw today, a sequence which oscillates or is periodic, uh, you know we had our 2 minus 2, 2 minus 2, okay? So it's oscillating because it's just bouncing backwards and forwards between two values, like, almost like a sine wave. I think we had a sequence uh, 2, 5, 8, 11, and so on. That's a straight line graph, but it actually diverges because it doesn't converge towards a particular number. It doesn't oscillate, it doesn't converge. So that one, it goes steadily, but it does diverge. Um, there's a bit of notation which goes something like, if you know the previous term, you can get the next term. So for example, I'm going to do uh, half un plus 3. Okay. So the next term is equal to a half of the previous one plus 3. For that, we do need a starting term, otherwise you don't know where we're beginning. So let's go for a u1 of 11. So the first term is 11, the second term is going to be half the first one, which is 5 and a half, and 3, which is 8 and a half. Okay. The next term, half of that one, 4.25. Plus three, seven point two five. This sequence, can you see that the gaps are getting smaller? They will continue getting smaller. Okay? And so actually this sequence will converge towards a particular number. When it does converge, then we're far enough down the sequence that, that pretty much they're all the same. Okay? What's gonna happen is that the next term will be the same as the previous one. Okay, there'll be pretty much no difference between them. So why don't we just replace those two things with the same letter? We use the letter L to stand for the limit. Okay? The sequence goes towards a limit. So what we've got there, the limit is equal to half of L, the limit plus three. So then we've got an equation which we need to re rearrange. Take away half of L. Take that away. So one take away a half, one L take away a half of L. Leaves us with a half of L over there. We took it away and we've got three. So a half of L is three. So the limit in this case is going to be six. Exercise seven A. Okay. Questions go. Here is a sequence given by this rule here. Write down the first five terms and then calculate the limit. I'll just talk about the limits bits right now. So I'm going to replace it with. L is equal to a half of L plus 4. Are you okay with that? So we're replacing that bit and that bit with L. Okay? And we've got an equation to solve. Uh, take away a half of L from both sides. One take away a half is just a half. That's going to be 4. So the limit in that case is going to be 8. 
Okay. Charlotte. Where's the first one gone? The next one. That just means the next term. Okay. Yeah. So you're reading that as the next term is equal to the current half of the current term plus four. So we've got L is equal to five. Take away a third of L. Got to rearrange that one. So we're going to add it over this time. So we've got to have four thirds of L is equal to five. So four L will be 15. And L will be 15 over four, which is 3.75. Is equal to the previous term plus two, all divided by four. Okay. Multiply the four. Take away one L. Two thirds. Um, just to show you what they look like as sequences. So sequences, we could just type it into Excel. So this one, oh, what was the first term? Minus two. Okay, so the next term is equal to the previous term times a half, add four. Three, hopefully we're gonna settle down. Did we say eight? Yeah. Okay, so we've got eight. Yep, there's eight there. Next one, previous term is, sorry, first term is 6, so it's equal to 5, take away previous term divided by 3. Coming out at 3.75. Just as a check, yep, 3.75 there. Next one, first term is 22. So 22 is equal to the previous term plus 2, all divided by 4. So this time what we're going to get? 0 0.66 or our 2 thirds. Okay.